What's up everybody? Today I'm building a donkey shelter. Um, this is this donkey shelter is made out of pallets and is 3.6 by 3.6 meters. It's going to be about two meters high on this side and one and a half on that side. Um, it's gonna have a metal roof, but I've been working away at it for a few days now. I didn't film the other days because I was busy. So what I did is I took green fence posts. Sorry if this is a little wobbly, wobbly, but I'm not used to holding the phone. Um, took fence posts. These are one and a half meter. I would almost recommend going a little longer to 1.75 or two meters. And I drilled four or five holes just like that. Those are five millimeter holes because I'm using five by 40 screws. And then I took 40 by 60s. These are cut to length. Well, these are not the finished length, but I cut them long so that I'll trim them once I put the roof on. But then I pounded the posts with about half a meter. On the longer ones, I had a little more sticking out. But I pounded the posts in like that. Then I put the 40 by 60s up these i've not um finished screwing them but i screwed them once here and once there then i screwed the post to it there and hold on there i hadn't put the extra screws in yet just because and then the roof will sit on this so th these are the bones like these are the bones the structure and then to hold the pallet together, I put pieces of 40 by 60s here, here, and here, and I've screwed them in with 5 by 90s. The top one will have to come off when I put the second layer of pallets on. I'll show that later. And then in the corners, hold on, I'll go around the outside. corners for now are just screwed once there, once there, and once down in there. I will finish screwing them together once I finish the rest of the structure. So these, these walls, I've sort of just sided them together and used the level. So they're not exactly, but where the, they're not exactly square and straight but they're where they they're roughly where they should be within like one or two centimeters and the whole thing is probably a couple centimeters off square but that's all right um so yeah this is where i am now i will take more videos later and show you the finished product at the end of this video i'm using my dewalt impact drivers also my dewalt circular saw See anything? You know that better. So I was working on the donkey shelter yesterday, but I got rained out, so I brought the three back pallets home because I have to cut them on an angle for the roof. So I'm using the the dinosaur to cut them, and the other two are over there. So I'm notching the corner blocks of these pallets out because. This is a different size pallet because it's all the place where I was getting the pallets from had. So these blocks are a little too big to fit over my 40 by 60s that are up and down. So I was notching them out with the, the dinosaur. It's a great saw. Um, so what I found was making two cuts in the middle wide enough to get your chisel down. Then you could chisel that slot out and then just use the reciprocating saw to go down, flip it, and then go up. Works much faster than just trying to make a bunch of cuts this way and chisel them out. So I have the roof on. Um, I still have to put some cross pieces in here, but other than that, it's on. It's all screwed together. Um, the metal's there. 
uh, that's most of the metal and then I'll be putting the metal on next time I come um so I, as you can see I cut these guys flush um so yeah I'll show you the back These are the three pallets you saw me cutting earlier. That one's different, but that's okay. And I think I will have to um, attach this somehow, but we can worry about that once I get the roof on. But other than, other than that, it's really sturdy. So there's another view of it. So I finished the donkey shelter today. This is the tarp that has gone on the outside. The roof is on. So inside, it's all nice and closed in. And I put these pieces in. Um, before I put these pieces in, I could wobble the walls back and forth, but now I can barely budge them. So these pieces are very important. I've got three longer ones on this side with the longest one at the front. And then I got three on this side and then the roof is just screwed down with um, self-tapping metal screws Th this the top part, part is recycled roofing um, on this side I have a few blocks of wood holding the tarp on and then there are lots of staples and then there's two uh, strips of wood holding the tarp in and as you can see that one pallet sticks out a bit um, then there's two strips on the back third strip up here um, the tarp is tucked in under there and then the roof is going to be screwed down to the piece of wood behind this that I added in today And this is this side, and that's the roof. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed following me along as I built this. Um, I know I didn't show a lot of myself working, but that's because a lot of the days I was here working, it was raining. But I showed you all the steps. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.